Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today in Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. County Fair Edition. Today we're with Joni from the Chautauqua County Fair. How are you, Joni? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Joni, give us a little background on you. Where were you born? Where'd you grow up? And uh, tell us about your journey to your position with County Fair. Okay. Um, I was born in Oklahoma. I grew up in Chautauqua County, actually. Um, my parents raised both me and my brother here. Um, so I was pretty excited to be able to come back after going to college. I got to go to OSU and to K-State. I have multiple bachelor's degrees in the business field. So um, being able to come back home and getting into the community and being able to become the treasurer secretary for the fair has been a pretty awesome experience. I get to use a lot of my um, college experience to help help out our little town and our little itty bitty county down here. Yeah, no, that's great. So. Walk me through the, the process of uh, a cowboy and a wildcat. How'd that happen? <laughs> um, so I knew I wanted to go to OSU. Um, I got accepted right out of high school. So that was really exciting for me and my family. Mm -hmm. um, my husband, however, he was going to K-State. So after I did some years at OSU, I transferred up to K-State to finish out a couple different things. We had a family incident. And so I just transferred up and yeah. got everything taken care of one one ag school to another yeah yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> perfect perfect okay tell us um a little bit about the Chocolate county fair and like what give me a visual what it looks like uh, when it is what type of events you have gotcha um so we've had the fair since around uh, 1884, so it's been around for a while here in Chautauqua County. Um, we have vendors set up along the midway. We have rides at the end. We've got a barbecue contest. We've got um, mm. a park right beside us. The rodeo grounds is right beside us. We've got the 4-H County Fair going on at the same time. Um, we've got our barbecue contest. Uh, it's it's pretty big, big thing for us in our little area. Um, our fairgrounds are located just on the north side of Sedan. And Sedan is the county seat for the, the county, so. Okay. Well, you, you, you've got our taste buds going, and uh, we, can't, uh, <laughs> we can't argue with that for sure. Tell us a little bit about um, the, the ag component, the 4-H component. Um, I'm always interested in the, in the production cell or the ribbon cell, whatever you have at the, end of the, at the end of the week. So tell us a little bit more about the 4-H side. Okay. Um, I wish I could tell you a whole bunch more. Um, our county fair is set up at the same time as the 4-H and the rodeo, but that's actually three different organizations coming together to make that week happen. Um, they have their own grounds that's right beside ours. It's right, I mean, we're all right there on the same property area. Um, I know that they have big support. We get, um, I know they have a ton of support that comes out. Our county really, really emphasizes our 4-H program that week. They have, uh, Oh gosh, I don't even know what all they do. They have their own events going on. They have open class entry um, just for the 4-H kids going mm -hmm. on top of our open class entries. They um, they do it, their weigh-ins and stuff at the beginning. But I know they have a lot of uh, a lot of different um, events going on. They've got their um, barnyard Olympics. They've got their 4-H cookout. They've got a swimming party going on for them too. So. Do they, do they, do you guys charge admission for each fair or is it all included or no. is it free fairs? Uh, to get into the rodeo, you pay, but sure. to come to the fair or the 4-H, you do not have to pay. You're welcome to stroll around the grounds. Gotcha. You get to see all the open class for free on both 4-H and on the fair side, so. No, that's that's fantastic, and, and a little little unique setup. I think that's the first that I've heard of that as it goes through there, so that's great. Jo Joni, what's what's one of the greatest things that has happened for you and your staff at the fair? I mean, like, what are some of the, the impactful moments that are, are good memories for you? Um, personally, I always love reconnecting with old friends. Um, there's a lot of people that come in and out just for the fair. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually got to see a friend two years ago that I hadn't seen in 10 years. There you go. She just happened to be popping up and I, we were working at an event and she, you know, so reconnecting with those old people, yeah. old friends that we haven't seen for a while is really important. Um, I know getting feedback from the, 
you know, from the community saying like, hey, this was a really cool thing. Can we keep this? Or, you know, like maybe we shouldn't go down that, you know, down that path. Maybe we need to change something up. That's always really helpful. And it's really rewarding to know that something you put so much effort into was worth it at the end, you know, something new because we are a small town, we are a small county, and we really value our traditions. Um, and on that point, something else I don't know if you might have heard of, um, we have a free bean feed and barbecue that our local businesses in the county support. They donate so much money. Um, we actually have people line up, they come, they get a barbecue sandwich, they get beans. If they want to make a donation, they can. If they don't, they don't. They get to eat. And then we have our talent show they can go over and watch for free watch all the kids up to adults do their talents for the competition. What, what night does the free food happen so everybody knows when to show up? Yeah, that's Thursday <laughs> night. It starts at 530. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Okay, Joni, a couple of fun questions here to kick us going. Um, I'm, I'm a live music guy, live entertainment. So so what is the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? Oh, in my entire life or at the fair? In your entire life. Uh, Blake Shelton. Um, I got to see him perform live down in um, Ocean, uh, Medill, Oklahoma at their Sand Bass Festival. Oh, nice. Nice. Very good. All right. Second question. If you could bring any musical act, dead or alive, to the Chautauqua County Fair, who would you bring? Uh, George Strait or Alan Jackson. There you go. You got a yeah. shot at both of them. They're still around. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Joni, how do people find out more about your county fair? Yeah, um, so we have a website. It's ChautauquaCountyFair.net, and that's a really long word, um, but that's it's all one. And then we also have a Facebook page. It's Chautauqua County, Kansas Fair, okay. not to be confused with Chautauqua County in New York. <laughs> so that gets a little crazy on that one. And then we also advertise in our local newspaper and uh, Country Living Magazine. Okay, awesome. Very good. Joni, thanks for joining us tonight on Live Music Nation Podcast, County Fair Edition. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having us. Well, baby, I'm all dead with a bottle of wine and no